Hey guys, welcome back to the Spire Dragon walkthrough as part of the Reignited Trilogy on the Golfing Gamer. In the last part, we began playing the game. We started collecting things in the Artisan homeworld as well as completing Stone Hill. And today, we are, as you've already seen, we are, we are entering the maze. Yeah, we are entering the maze and entering Dark Hollow. I always wonder when he enters a portal, does he just keep flying until he finds a place to land? Although, actually that doesn't make any sense because he's a young dragon and can he glide, so I guess this is just him entering the world still. Anyway, we are here. And as you can probably hear, I might turn the music up a little bit at this point, but um, you can probably hear the music sounds so similar to the original game in this level. It, it might actually just be that music, <laughs> be the music from the original game, but um, in any case, it, it sounds so similar. And I'm not sure what to make of the um, the backgrounds. I mean, oh, it's you! I wasn't sure if you'd escape those annoying little creatures. Of course, they wouldn't bother me. But here's a hint. Their metal armor is fireproof, but a charge attack will take care of them. As I, as I was saying, I like how bright it is in here, but at the same time, it sort of takes away from the eerie atmosphere that the original level had. But, but personally, I do like it. Ow. I think that's possibly our first hit of the walkthrough. I can't think of any others before that. Yeah, I like the fires, gets me a nice little achievement there. I used to do that in the original game, so I thought I'd do it here and see what happened. And yeah, I got rewarded for that. What I've noticed with what I've played so far of the game, and that's, that includes um, upcoming parts as well, because I've I filmed all of the artists in Homeworld at the same time, is that some of the enemies, in this case the, the Norks with the clubs, actually a lot harder to attack. If you're not quick enough, you will just get smacked into the ground. Whereas you had at least a couple of seconds in the original game to flame them uh, before they attacked. One second at least. Anyway, just adds to the challenge. Just something I noticed. That's what the life crate looks like. Uh, you may have uh, seen it in the uh, build up and hype to the game, but missed it in the last part, so... I should get in that path at least. Though these enemies make sure you find when their backs are turned because as you can see they are wearing armour and they are too big to be charged. Luckily there is a weak spot at the back. St Spyro, wanna know a secret? Use the action button when you wanna zoom in and look around. Oh, your secret's safe with me! trick that will also be exploited in a well-known upcoming boss fight, but we'll get to that later on. Okay, so we've got the key now for the chest that we saw earlier on, uh, so we can now go back and open that, and then we are pretty much done for this level, it's quite a short level, uh, Dark Hollow, when, when you know what you're doing. Look, they're just back here, back up the steps, and we can unlock that chest. I was worried when the gems came flying out that one might have fallen off the edge, that's why I started looking over the uh, edge of the platform there, but uh, they hadn't, so that's good. So we have seen now is one more dragon, six more gems, and they're all at the end here. Big enemies like this Nork with the club cannot be charged, but a quick flame, that should defeat them. And that should do it for this episode. So thank you guys so much for watching. If you like this, drop a like down below. Subscribe to the channel. Hit that bell notification icon so it's not, not to miss out. Yeah. I'm sure what my words say. So it's not to miss out on future uploads. 
again thank you for watching and until next time I will see you later